On November 3, 2007, Pakistani President Pervez Musharraf issued a state of emergency that suspended his country's constitution and declared martial law. Over the next few days, more than 3,500 lawyers, civil rights leaders, and political party members were placed under arrest, including the Chief Justice of the Pakistani Supreme Court and the President of the Supreme Court Bar Association. These events provided a charged political backdrop during a November 6th meeting of a group of leading international legal scholars who gathered at the American Bar Foundation in Chicago to discuss and debate the role of the rule of law in international justice and prosperity. One of the most important questions in the modern day is the relationship between the rule of law and social, economic, and political development around the world. We at the American Bar Foundation are delighted to be working with President William Newcomb of the American Bar Association and the World Justice Project. The American Bar Foundation is the leading research institute for the empirical study of law. There is no organization that is better equipped to deal with the complexity of the issues at stake in these debates. In the video that follows, you will observe a scholars group that has been convened by our own Nobel laureate economist, James Heckman. We look forward to the challenge of examining these issues in depth as the project continues. And I just want to say welcome to all of you. We've been looking forward to this event for a long time. Um, you know, the, the inspiration for this project is the Rule of Law Initiative and the World Justice Project uh, that you know, Bill Newton has, uh, has launched. And um, I think it's a testament to the, uh, uh, the courage of his leadership that he's asked uh, a group of tenacious scholars to come and examine these issues. I can't tell you um, how gratifying it is. Uh, for those of us who started with an idea for this initiative um, really just about a year ago uh, and one of our, frankly, one of our pipe dreams was that one of our programs might be a scholars program that would sort of pick up the current state of analysis and study and writing um, and uh, move it a whole step further uh, and see if we could get to the point of a sort of one of a better concept, a sort of level of moral certainty that the rule of law matters, and that it matters substantially and materially, and it matters in a very cross-community uh, way. So I think what we, what I'd like to think of as happening today would be to examine those principles. People might touch on those principles in the course of their own presentations, and we certainly respect the individual uh, uh, integrity and individual differences that uh, people may have, because the agenda you know, it does have certain properties that make it look quite Western, quite American, quite, uh, quite U.S. Uh, democracy. And the question is, can we extract maybe even more universal principles? So uh, I just want to encourage a lot of debate. The World Justice Project Workshop has brought together a group of leading scholars from multiple disciplines and multiple countries, representing the disciplines of political science, economics, sociology, anthropology, law, and history and including luminaries like Nobel laureate Amartya Sen from Harvard University, Nobel laureate James Heckman from the American Bar Foundation and the University of Chicago, Daniel Kaufman, the Director of Global Programs and Governance at the World Bank Institute, and Margaret Levy, former President of the American Political Science Association, among others. The day was organized by presentations of draft research papers that covered political development, measuring the rule of law, democratic process, authoritarianism and the historical evolution of the rule of law across the globe. The other element of all of this is some kind of contractual relationship with the state which is developed and instilled and is a contract if you will that can be maintained or broken. So if government in fact begins to break its contract with the state with, with its citizens they're a lot less likely to and so the rationality of fear is this idea. It is that when people fear for either their lives or their livelihood, they're likely to react and support extra constitutional actions to protect themselves. Daniel Kaufman of the World Bank Institute discussed his organization's global study of governance indicators, which shows strong correlations between nations with stable and institutionalized legal structures and economic development. Mark Agras, senior fellow at the Center for American Progress, discussed the Rule of Law Index, a tool for measuring the implementation of the rule of law across different nation states. This index is in beta form now, but soon will be field tested in Nigeria, 
India, Chile, and the United States. Following each paper session, there were wide-ranging question and answer sessions. One thing that came up was how to make sure that the World Justice Project does not codify an overtly Western or American conceptualization of the rule of law. Where all of these issues arise and uh, much of what we're talking about with the idea of Africa applies in the inner city of Chicago and elsewhere. We have to constantly, I think, reflect those two things because otherwise this does become a very patronizing kind of discourse. Participants also debated issues of scientific causality and reliability. You avoided the issue completely and you raised the question of causality. Seems like a huge issue. It wasn't some of the papers you cited. I have my own problems. But so we're going to, are you going to address this issue of you know, governance, rule of law, producing social and economic outcomes? I mean, absolutely. The evidence on causality is far from clear. How do you know that there's this causal relationship in this case with, with lawyers per se? It, it seems that the alternative hypothesis is, is that it's really the mobilization of the civil society that matters. And when the civil society tends to mobilize, you tend to get the lawyers mobilized as well. But it's not the lawyers that are causal, they're just an element of something that's a much larger thing. So, and, and so my question to you is, is why, why the focus on lawyers and, what, uh, and do you have any evidence or are you going to look seriously that lawyers themselves are in, in independent causal agencies? Yeah. It's an excellent question and of course if we did simply a cross-sectional statistical analysis, we'd be very vulnerable for that. A third theme involved the dynamic interplay of informal and formal rule systems. In societies that have for a long period of time at least a millennium been ruled under Islamic law. And what I've tried to identify is some common problems. And one common problem is that civic society is weak. This is a problem we have in Iraq. Uh, we, we, we can't just topple a dictator, a hated dictator, and expect that a Jeffersonian democracy will follow. We can't hold elections and put in place a democratic government and expect that to be stable. Nobody in Iraq expects it. At lunch, Harvard professor of economics Amartya Sen delivered an inspired and challenging lecture entitled On the Idea of Global Justice. His lecture provided a philosophical inquiry into the very idea of justice itself, asking at a fundamental level how can justice be productively nurtured in actual institutional settings and interwoven into the informal fabric of a society. The American Bar Association continues to be a leader in condemning the actions of Musharraf and the Pakistani government and to mobilize support for justice and the rule of law. In the coming months, the American Bar Association and the World Justice Project will continue these efforts on multiple fronts, including coordinated activities with United Nations, other disciplines, and legal scholars throughout the world. These efforts are building toward an international meeting of the World Justice Forum in Vienna, Austria in July of 2008. The goal of the international meeting and the World Justice Project is to better identify, implement, and nurture these processes that can lead to the further diffusion of justice and the rule of law throughout the world.